Bad day, yeah. Um, very disappointed with, with with just all the performance, really. If I'm being honest, um, the goals in particular are incredibly frustrating and disappointing. Um, first two from corners, but the second half we actually started better, and then we go and you know concede such a soft goal. I mean, the lads got a free header from about three or four yards out, back post. Makes it 2 0, and then it's you know the game's very, very difficult from there. Um, but, but, but even even the rest of the goals, uh, their individual errors, or they're just, just naivety, and um, it's not acceptable. You know, it's uh, we've, we've shipped a lot of goals in now this week, and uh, in the main, a lot of them have been crap goals. You know, we, we can't become a soft touch. You know, we, we've we've proven. In, in, in other performances, you know, this season, that we can be incredibly solid, resilient, and that that's been with an ever-changing backline. You know, uh, centre off partnerships have changed throughout the time that I've been here. Um, as have the full backs in the main, probably until recent games. You know, we've we've obviously played a different system in the last two games, and that's probably the easy thing for people to look at. But I think it was two nil today when we changed to a back four and uh, both goals came from, from defensive corners yeah. and I've said to the players then it's, it's absolutely nothing to do with the system you know people that say that they're, 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 they're making excuses they're looking for excuses what we what we need to do individually collectively is we need to look at ourselves we need to accept responsibility for the fact that we've not been good enough particularly today and we've got to um, you know work hard and look to improve next week I mean, Harry Flowers left the club yesterday to Telford. How much of a loss was he today and the rest of the season? Well, he wasn't a loss in the first 12 to 15 games when we couldn't get him on the pitch. So, any, listen, anybody, I, you know, I, I, I sense people's disappointment by that. Um, I sense people will be looking at that as an excuse. It's, it's nonsense. You know, good player. You know, um, you know, dominant heads, heads the ball, but. You know, we, we, we made him an offer to stay for next season. He wasn't very prepared to commit. We got offered a, a you know a fee for a player who would have probably left us in six weeks for nothing. And it was the best decision for the football club. And whether the supporters or his teammates like that or not, that's just the reality. And that's what my job is to do: is to, you know, uh, get get the best um, deal that I can for the club. And, and, and you know, again, I, I believe that we've done that. You know. Um, but I, but I repeat what I said to you earlier. When you know, when you first asked the question, we kept clean sheets away at Brackley with no Harry. We kept clean sheet away at Fylde with no Harry. Yeah, I, could, I could rhyme out another, you know, uh, list of games, length of my arm, where we've defended well and we've had good results without Harry Flowers. So, you know, the scene's not over because Harry Flowers has gone. Just like you know, people thought it was over when Jack McKay left and we went on a, a, on a better run. So this is what happens in football. Players, whether we like it or not, they leave football clubs, and um, we've got to, you know, get on with it. And then spending more time up next on Saturday. Uh, what do you need to do between now and then to get ready for this game and uh, for improve performance? Well, we've got to work hard. You know, we've got to train well. Just said to the players there, I, I don't want the season to peter out now for the next nine games. You know, and, and, I, and I certainly won't be watching that for nine games. Um, because that, you know, that today is, that, that's the worst performance since I came here in, in terms of the nature of the goals. Uh, maybe we're a little bit stuck in between um, in, in terms of our identity. You know, the messages maybe need to be clearer to the players of what we want from them. Um, but that, that, you know, that, that doesn't, um, doesn't you know, negate for the, the, the manner of the goals we've conceded today. They were just awful goals. You see better defending than that if you go and watch you know, a kids' game tomorrow. And that's what disappoints me. You know, you've got to be more aggressive, more competitive. You've got to be more alert, um, accept responsibility, and, and, and defend the box better. And um, you know, we, we haven't done that. You know, we, we've been, it's not just today. People will look at today and think, well, because Harry Flowers has gone, that's you know, that's what's happening. It's, it's a load of rubbish. 
you know, we conceded a corner away at Telford, we conceded a corner against Gloucester, we conceded off the second second first from a free kick against Farsley last week, you know, Gates said during the week, again today too, you know, so it, it's, it's a problem, we need to look at the setup. you know, we need to get players understanding the, the roles, and, you know, we need players to, you know, to, to step up again, I, I've stood here many a time and defended the players and I, I will always do that when I think it's appropriate. Today it's difficult to defend some of the goals we've conceded and you know I'm not I'm not saying anything that I haven't said to the lads. Sometimes you've got to be honest uh, with them. Um, but there's a lot to play for individually and collectively there's a lot to play for. 27 points to play for. You know we can still finish the highest the club's ever finished. Um, individually you know there's a lot of lads there in that dressing room that the deals are up in the summer, many of which we have options on, some of which we don't, and they've got to they've got to start performing better than that if they want to be in the plans for the next season. Because um, you know that type of performance is, is not what I expect, and ultimately as the manager, you know it comes back on my shoulders, which is fine, but um, we need to do better than we did today, that's for sure.